Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So the question asked here is how to filter second level array. So here is a JSON set of data which has got a second set of array which is called fee details. And sometimes the fee details can be empty as well. So what we are what we want to do here is we need to filter the type is payment fee. Along with that, we need to get the ID as well. Okay, so I'm going to copy this data sample data which is provided here. And let's go back to flow and build one. Okay, first first thing we I'm going to add a compose and paste the sample data. Okay. So I'm going to rename that called data right the next step I need to add a pass JSON step so in the pass JSON step I'm going to say previous output click on the generate sample paste the sample data here click done that will generate the schema which we want okay once that done, what we want is we want to iterate the elements and get uh, get the type filter, the fee details type. That's the aim. Okay. So to do that, um, let's think about we need to rearrange this in a different way actually. So how can we rearrange this? Okay, so to rearrange, ideally what we want is, I'm going to copy this here. Uh, yeah, paste that here. And I'm going to add a ID also here. And ID one, two, three, four, five, six, comma. So if we, if we can get in this format, it will be much easier to filter it. So that's the aim for it. Okay, let's copy this again. So that's an array. So if you can get in this format, it will be much more easier to do the job. We can filter it. Okay, so how do we do this? So for that, I'm going to declare an array actually. Okay, so that's just after my um, manual trigger. Okay, so looking for the variable, initialize variable, and uh, let's call fee details. That's what we want. So fee details uh, with ID. Okay, and uh, call that as uh, that's an array. Yeah, that's right. So just rename that to fee details with id here we go that's done okay and we got the pass json step here so for um, after the pass json step what we want is i'm going to add a compose here okay so watch out this adding a compose and ideally we want to construct uh, in that format which we want that's the format we want so I'm going to copy that format here and just paste it there, okay? But we want to append, append this into an array then. So for that, I am going to declare, and uh, we already declared a variable there. So for that, um, the next step is, I'm going to say append array and with the fee details, and the output of the action step from the previous step. That is the output of the previous combos here, this one, right? Okay, still we need to do some work here. So how can we get this ID then? So ID is already there. So all I need is uh, go here and get the ID then. So watch out this, when I click on ID, see there is an apply to each comes up automatically because it's an array we are iterating it. You can see here in the schema it says array, okay? Right, so we got the ID now. How can we get the 70 then? Uh, sorry, the amount. 
amount is 70 so how can you get the value that value there then so for that we need to use an expression here so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove that click on the function and uh, that's the expression we want we want item apply to each that's the you know name of the current action step then the fee details the first index we know the value um, you know uh, the first index of the value is amount so and so that's the first one we got the second one is the currency one so the so currency one is exactly the same one only thing is the scheme name is slightly different so just double click that and um, go to the function copy that that's the currency see that's only difference the rest everything is the same okay that's done right next is the uh, type so type uh, type is that payment fee we need to get so how to get the payment fee so again same thing click on function type here it is so we got all that but remember the user has mentioned sometimes the data is not there so in the sample data sometimes the fee details is not there so other so if we if you are going to do this way it's going to fail the flow this action step will going to fail for um, certain ones because we assumes that you know the array index is there for that i'm going to add um, add an if sta if uh, statement there okay so let's add an if statement okay control and adding uh, if statement so for that i um, i need to do a function again and that's a function again so that's the length of the item applied to each of that fee details okay so remember length items of the that fee details that's what we want is greater than zero then that means we know there is something there inside as an array then drag and drop this one here um, oh you can't be able to drag and drop as a shame okay let me let me do this in diff different way this I'm just going to add a compose here and uh, I probably could add it here that now and then I sh might be no I can't okay that's okay uh, what we'll do is we'll copy this and uh, paste that here and then drag and drop then drag and drop here that okay here we go I got it now I'm going to delete this right okay so we got that now okay just rename this to um, each array so once we got that what we want next is we want to say up and we we, uh, we need to collect this because uh, you know it's an array so we need to collect so up and to array variable fee details with id and we we know we got with the id there also there so in the value here dynamic go back here and uh, from the each array output see the previous uh, one each array output we want that's a compose output yeah we got that so once we got that then uh, it's a quite um, uh, quite an easy step to do now the next step here is uh, the i'm going to add a compose here we you don't need to do that but i'll show you why i need that so I'm, I will add a compose here and uh, just map that final uh, variable which, which is a fee details ID okay so let's uh, run this so this is pass JSON um, demo okay I'm going to save this Oh, okay there is a value required here so okay sorry so up and to variable that supposed to be goes under here yeah I don't know where why it's come up here I'm going to delete, delete this I don't need that okay so basically we construct uh, the uh, the elements we want then appending the values in an array so that's done nice nicely now that's in a loop finally outside the loop we got the compose here okay just save this for now and I'm going to run this now right flow ran successfully you can see here in the output I got ID with that see now we can easily filter this I got one two values there so these are the two values only we are after then because my third value in the data it's blank is it so the third one yeah it's blank so we're not interested in that okay again edit 
okay now i can remove that i just want to show you that uh, you know how that's going to construct the next one is the filter array step we want because it's an array it's easy to use now the filter array step and here i can uh, say from the few details with id i need the remember the, this is technique you need to use also here i need the type so remember we want to filter by the type yeah so for that I need to use another expression also from that array collection. Click on the function again. And that's someone we want item uh, question mark type. That's the syntax you need to use. So type is equal to uh, payment underscore fee. Okay. And then um, add a compose for the final result. So I'm going to rename this as final result after the filter. And that's output of the filter array. So let's go back here and see body of the filter array. That's what we want. Yeah, body of the filter array. Save it and run the flow again. Okay, flow ran successfully. Let's see the final output. Here it is. So we just filtered with the type, which is payment underscore fee with the ID. Okay. Hope this video is useful and thank you for watching.